In this Python tutorial, we will create a GUI application using text and input layout objects. After entering the values into the input objects, pressing the OK button, the entered values will be displayed in the text object. We will do the project with you step by step. To support us, you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. So let's start. First, I transfer the PY simple GUI library. You can transfer the library using this code. I import the library. I will create a list. I will add objects such as text and input to this list. First, I add the text object. I create a variable for the window. I send the window title and layout list to the window function. I create an infinite while loop with true. Objects in the window produce an output when used by the user. For example, when the X button is clicked, the event value is set to none. To reach these outputs, I synchronize event and values with the read function. You will soon understand better how they work. If the X button is clicked or any object produces the exit value as output, I will terminate the while loop. I print these variables to the console screen with the print command. When the loop is completed, I close the window. We created a window that only contains text. When I press the X button, the window closed because the event value was equal to win closed. Now let's add an input object to the list. Input object has been added to the desktop window. Let's add the text and input objects for the surname to the list. Objects have been added to the desktop window. Let's add text and input objects for gender to the list. Objects have been added to the desktop window. I create two buttons, OK and Exit. I enter name, surname and gender values. When I click the OK button, event and values are printed on the console screen. We can access the outputs of all objects with event and values variables. When you press the exit button, the window will close. Because the event value of the exit button is exit. We defined this in the if query. Now I need to access the input objects. For this, I will determine the key for each input. I will display the name, surname and gender values in a text object. I define the text object. Since I will change the text object in the while loop, I specify a key. I will soon manage the values in objects using keys. I create a variable named out. I can access input objects using the values variable. I will update the last text I created using the key value.
I send the variable to the update function. I add the comma to the layout object. Now let's try the program. I enter name, surname and gender values. When I press the OK button, the values are displayed as I specified in the text object. To support us, you can like the video and subscribe to the channel.